Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey, me Chugabilly. Yeah, so we defeated the big old dino thing. That was fun. That actually was quite fun. But uh scary all the same. Hey That's that thing they wanted. And another one of these things, of which we do not know the purpose of. I'm sure all will be revealed. Um, yeah, I'm guessing the Elman crown is a valuable. Alright, I guess I'll go give it to them. X gun, give it to you. Hello, my little chappy nose. Also, one of these little critters stole my earrings of wisdom. Which I am not best pleased about, so I require them back. Yeah, take your stupid crown. But I've I've got I've got your thing. I've got your thing. Oh. Ugh. Well, I've seen this before, so skip. So this happened uh, through a single casting of Prisma. What fun! Yeah, this little dude's a lot. Tougher than he appeared to be the first time around. Yeah. Um. I guess we just keep hacking him. What well, you got equipped? Let's go for the the wind one. Yes, yeah, the boy. And you, Mac. Should, uh, should, uh, I don't know. <laughs> gamble. You should gamble. Feels weird telling a child to gamble. Yeah, see, now this is what they was doing last time, and this time it cast a Force Seer, which did, like, over a thousand damage to Kaim. Nice. And then... Then he cast Prisma and killed most of my team. Hey, why couldn't he have done this earlier? Ugh. Consistent. I like it. Consistent gambling. Nice. I mean, I guess you could say losing repeatedly is consistent. I'm not done yet. It's got to be cold lying on that floor, you know? And what were you doing? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yes. I doubt that will happen, but I'll say it nonetheless. Yeesh. Sketchy. Yes, it, it actually was. Look, I've got your crown. I want to give you your crown. You stupid, bloody, lemur looking fools. Might not have needed to have done that, but just take your crown. I have the crown. Right, one more time. I mean, first and foremost, a giant dinosaur had it, and second of all, I have it. Just turn it back. Can I do something with it? Fine, I'll keep it then. Oh, I've had enough of this place now. Smart, eh? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, all right then. Let's go.
don't know why I told her to use all flare when it should be all wind. And a good old gamble just for good measure. Oops. Yeah, I hope one of them gets to uh, gets to steal and hopefully take the almond crown. Man, those weeds. That weed makes you slow. <laughs> yeah, take it. Take it. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, let's just... Let's just get out of here. I've had enough of this place. It is awful. Fighting those bloody... Whatever they're called. Marmots. Ooh, three new locations. Ice Canyon North. That's actually just the where we came from. The city of Kent and Goatsa City. So Kent are the guys from the very beginning of the game. Uh, the beast people. Um, I'm not going to lie, I thought Kent and Goatsa were the same thing. Maybe they are. Well, we're meant to go to Goatsa City, so let's go there first. I don't doubt we'll probably have to go to the city. Actually, no, let's go to the city of Kent. Let's have a look around. Love doing things in the wrong order, me. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the frozen city place. Oh, no. No, it is literally just a pile of rubble. Alright. This place looks fun. Hey, Anubis, how you doing? Been a couple of thousand years. Alright, alright. Chili or beans. And I'll wake up. Wait, don't we already have one of those? Isn't that the thing with the. Uh, wrong one. Uh, yeah. So if we had slot plus three. On Kaim, and then we had two awakening bracelets, he'd gain an additional nine slots. Nice. Yeah, well, not much of a town you got here anyway, so there. Stupid dog man didn't want to let me in his town. Fine. It comes to town anyway. It looks like, looks like poop. <clears throat> right, go to the city south. So I'm guessing this is probably the uh, frozen city place that I recall. No, it's just a fallen over tree from the looks of things. Oh, hello. Wow, we thought Aura was on it with the whole magic engines, but uh... Wow, the cities in this place are so friendly, aren't they? No, I, I, I do kind of like that juxtaposition of the little towns being quite quaint and f homely. And uh, the cities being super industrial, brutalist style. Of course there's a low town. Yeah, this is the place I was thinking of. Not as frozen over as I remember, but uh... Yeah, alright, alright. Yeah, that's family for you. That is crazy, whatever that construct is. I, 
Can I interact with these things? No. Okay. Wasn't sure if there might be some hidden treasure. Ah! I love this show. Citizens of Gorza, do not be afraid. Our overwhelming military strength means we have nothing to fear. Man, all this dick measuring. We get it. Even if Numara or Ura should bring their magic energy to bear. Be proud. A citizen of Gorsa. Yeah, blind faith can only get you so far. Right, okay. Is that your daily update to remind you where you were born and who your allegiance lies to? Cool. Well, funnily enough, we have the Queen of Numara here to work on a peace treaty. Yes. Sow the seeds of dismay, and then once the war's finished, be the one to help them rise up, be the one to bring prosperity to the people, and make you seem like a a god, almost. Like, this is a hotel? Yeah, I guess I can see it. <laughs> I guess there isn't much intercity travel. Everyone just kind of sticks to their own little settlements and that's it. Yeah, all right. I'll bite. Let's see what the hotel room's like. I do love traveling. Oh. Hmm. How many we? No, we did. I have seen that one. This is. I had to redo things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Okay, so it doesn't put Seth Dream Part One and Seth Dream Part Two near each other so you can't like see roughly how long if it has a continuation still got a fair few stories to go though um, less than halfway well about halfway makes you wonder how many we've missed if any I imagine there's probably one or two in um, Numara haven't been there for a while Right, okay, well, there's no hotel rooms for us to pill for stuff from, unfortunately. My favourite pastime. Cool, useful. Oh, there is lots to do there. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't doubt that Kaim definitely had a part to play in winning the war. Yeah. Well, I guess they're on the bright side, no one's gonna remember Kaim's face because they're all dead! Yay! Yeesh. They even know his name. They even know his full name. 
have to admit, though, like, given that he is immortal, you would have thought there's more legends and myths and fairy tales about Kaim and his friends. No, because I can't actually have any of them. Although, that said, I haven't made any rings for a while now. Alright, then what you got? Magic? Okay. Do you want to care for these bombs? I mean, a manual capsule is doing up quite a bit of healing at this juncture. Just like to have a nice round number. Actually, let's go for 30, shall we? The one benefit of having the items over magic is the fact that they will always go first, it seems. Can't say for definite, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. What about you? Yes, yes, I'm always looking for weapons and armor. Oh, right, because Seth's got the Spartan Blade. So, I could have just bought it after the little thing stole it, of course. Um... Oh! Level 5. Yeah, I am. Uh, I know we have these two, and this one I'm pretty sure as well. I mean, it's only 500 gold. I might as well buy some to be on the safe side. Okay, let's build some rings! Rings, assemble. So I don't have enough for that. Or for that. Uh, we can make a storm ring, so that's good. And we, bring it, we can make a tremor ring. A dinosaur ring. Beast ring or a dinosaur ring. I like it. Yeah, we already have a hacker ring. Now I'm going to forego making the ultra rings because I know there's a level 3. So I've got a hacker ring so that'll then become a, I don't know, mechanic ring or something like that. Ooh, we can make a rage ring. Sweet. I do need to try using this, because I imagine it would be quite useful for farming. Alright, let's make a wind ring. And I can make a storm ring. Rainbow coral and crimson treasure. Do you sell any of those, my friend? Yeah, you do. Why am I buying so many? Eh, I like to have too much. <laughs> it allows me to make mistakes. Cool, right. Blaze ring, flux ring, storm ring, tremor ring. I'm sure this dude's got everything we need to make all the levels up, but I'm just going to see what we can make. Now, so we've got the flare stream, cycling this uh, damage up and fire damage and critical. That's so good. That's so good. Now, we'd need actually four crusher rings and four rage rings. 
Raging Fire Ring, which would be... See, that's just a little too niche for me. Like, it's... If you come up against an aerial monster that is a wind aerial monster... Although, I guess, I, most of the time, a aerial monster probably would be wind element, but... Uh, water Beast... An Earth... Uh, Actually, a beast, I guess, that would be fire-based, yeah. So, they're going for the elements that make the most sense with the type of killer. Ooh. Now that I like. Terror effect, critical up, and a GC down. Ooh, there are some good ones here. So I need about, like, five rage rings. So, if we look at that, I need three more crushers and three more rage rings. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, so I've made enough. Yeah, so I can get one of these each now. Now, obviously, these are only level two, so I could eventually have level three. So it might not be worth investing that much in it right now. But it's still good to have, I think, and I think it'll be very useful. Now, I do have a buttload of rings. <laughs> uh, poor choice of words, Billy. Um, so, I've got things like the flame ring. No, I don't, do I? But I've got a... I have a lot of ultras. So like the Earth Ring Ultra and all those. There's not much you can really do with them. Don't think you can sell them. Let's try selling them. I'm sure Mr. Armor Man wants some... No. Uh, looks like we can't sell them. Cool. That's fine. Make a bit of money as we are running low. Yeah. Cool, well, we have plenty of rings to go around. Feel like Saruman. Saruman? Sauron, even. I screwed that up, didn't I? What's down there? So eerie. Is it megalophobia where you have a fear of large things? Because this place would do it. Oh, pendulums. How appropriate. Although there's actually five pendulums from what I can see. Interesting. Wonder if he ever pops up in any of Kaim's memories. You know what, let's go. Let's go downstairs. I'm good. Seems a little unnecessary for a lift. The more moving parts you have. The more things that break, or can break. Oh, this is the train station. I wanted to go downstairs, or go to the lower city. No, I think I'm going to abstain from going there for now. Go do a little bit of exploring. Right, let's go to the Sector 7 slums. Go have a drink at Tifa's bar. 
and then learn how to save the game at the, uh, I don't even know what, really what they called that place. Is now this sort of thing is not necessarily true. So you hear often hear this, and I I kind of categorise as a, a form of fear mongering in a way. Uh, the automization of I don't know if that's the correct word or I just made the word up, but like the self service checkouts at shops these days, supermarkets, whatever. A lot of people say that they take jobs, and to a degree, that's true. There are people don't have to go wait for the till; they can just go straight to the self-service checkouts. They're quicker, they're faster, they're easier to use. You don't have to deal with human interaction, which is good for a lot of people. But um, it means that there is, you know, you don't have to have as many in-store staff. You don't have to have as many clerks. Now, what you do have to have is better trained clerks and store operators because obviously they need to be able to run diagnostics and just general uh, problem solving and troubleshooting on these things when just your basic errors happen. Um, but in the process of these machines being made, you also need proper engineers. You know, you've got the software developers that need that build the the back end of the thing of the uh, service checkouts, and you've got people to maintain them, and you've got the graphic designers. I, I know it sounds silly, but the people that work on like the little animations and all these silly little things. You know, there's. For every job that one of these self-service checkouts takes, it generally creates, I think, something like 7.5 jobs. Or it requires 7.5 people, you know, to do that sort of thing. Um, now, the problem with this is the fact that it's skilled work, so it, it, it takes away unskilled work, which for those less fortunate or those that rely on those sorts of jobs, it means that they are slowly dwindling away. But problem is that machines are generally more reliable, easier to run, cheaper to maintain, work all the time. You don't have to rotor them in, you don't have to worry about sick days and holiday, they're always there. So it's it's a sad kind of well, it's a little touch of kind warming his hands. Um it's a sad reality of the world we live in, but the concept that automization of certain workplaces reduces jobs is not true. It reduces unskilled work. Yeah, Kaim, you might not want to hang around here, buddy. I was hoping they might have put one of those um, rubies in there. There's a, there's a little nod to Final Fantasy IV, as we are in Rosa's restaurant. This is quite quaint, to be honest. I quite like this place. I always enjoy a restaurant where you can buy the ingredients that they use to make the food. So you can see it's like some stock on sale. I like that. A few of the coffee shops in my area, they uh, sell the coffee they use. Their own their own blends and their own... Um, I, th I think one of them grows the coffee themselves. Eesh. Yeah, I should have put one of those in Rose's Rose's restaurant. I 
have thought we would have had a um, memory of a thousand dreams or whatever they're called. Ah, I want to talk to your wife. I want to talk to Honest Ma Machia. Machia. Kind of weird, like you got like, these dog people, and then you got dogs. Yeah, that's a skinny dog. That's sad. And maybe uh, I didn't read what you said back, so I skipped past it. Yes. Okay. Probably one of the dudes that told us we weren't allowed in. 500G, you say? Sure. Let's go save in a moment. I just want to finish exploring this place. Or well, this level, anyway. I know there's plenty of buildings to go inside and lifts to take. Yeah, I think that's the battle house. All the lower floors are. Is this... Yeah, so this is where we started, I believe. That's such a weird thing to say. Here, buy some fruit. You won't regret it. Why would anyone regret buying fruit? Like... Yeah, sure, it might be a little bit moldy, but... Ugh, that's weird. Anyway, in the next episode, we... Probably go into the battle house and have a look at that. Whatever it's called, can't remember exactly. And we also are probably going to go and have a chat with the King of Goatser. Seems like a friendly fellow. See you there.